five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, out to the other coast of the United States, the one that's more infected than we are now, it's Larry Bubbles Brown, <laughs> the music of Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, Larry. Are, are we more infected? I think so. I think you're, you're on the rise, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, you opened up too fast or something like that. So, oh, uh, I, just, I it, hadn't heard that. That's good to know. Yeah, it's it's uh, you know, I mean, you're not doing terribly, but uh, not like some other states. We here in New York, we have so bent the curve that yesterday in New York City, there were three cases, uh, three deaths due to coronavirus. Wow! And that may be questionable as to whether that's realistic or not, because sometimes they attribute something to coronavirus. But the comorbidity might have been heart problems, you know. And they get more money if uh, you, yeah, they if you, they say the person died of corona, the uh, yeah. feds give them more money, yeah, or whatever. But anyway, uh, it, it 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 was amazing. I mean, it just went down. Uh, we took we not only uh, you know reversed the curve, we bent it. I mean, literally, the people in the state of New York just stayed indoors and they did their thing and they wore their masks and and now we're we're at a point where um uh, you can't really say it's a rampant disease so um it's amazing but in other states it's the rest of the country's gone up so uh, apparently we did something right here you know but when do we get back to normal I would say not in your lifetime. Yeah. I mean... That could be tomorrow. I mean, no, I mean normal... Well, I mean, what, what what's the new normal? I mean, if I asked you, when do we get back to normal on air travel? You know? Uh, that means that when are we going to get back to where you don't have TSA patting you down every time you get on an airplane? Uh, I don't think we're ever going to see that. Yeah, and how can you keep those TSA lines? How can you keep six feet apart? But you'll be out in the parking lot. Well, uh, but people aren't flying airplanes as much right now. Would you get on? A, uh, well, you wouldn't get on an airplane anyway. No, no, I w- I actually would. So uh, for some reason, this virus didn't th- frighten me, unlike others. Really, germs. you would get on an airplane? I would. Yeah. Really, I mm-hmm. I don't think I would take the chance yet. Uh, mainly because the people on airplanes are far wider swath. If I, you know, I'm beginning to wonder if maybe I shouldn't go on the subways here because they have so cleaned them that they're totally disinfected. And then every day they they wash them down with a microbial uh, uh, antimicrobial substance that adheres to the seats. And um, those subways uh, cars are cleaner than they've ever been, which is not saying much because they used to be filthy. But anyway, um, so I think I might try the subway soon, okay, with a mask, with gloves. You know, I'm taking, not taking any chances, but it looks like it might be okay. Uh, so uh, anyway, that's, uh, you know, that's what we're you know looking at here uh it's just yeah. it's it's much better it's just much better okay this might this might kill stand up comedy i don't know uh i well you know I, there'll be a new normal for that too what you'll be doing is you'll be working clubs that have smaller seating uh you will um i guess everybody in the club will re- be required to wear a mask except when they're sipping on a drink uh 
I mean, there'll be some there'll be some attempt at putting the clubs back in order. Are you going to get paid what you used to get paid? No, because they're not going to be able to get the same amount of people in the door, and they're not going to be able to make the same amount of money. So they can't pay the talent what they were paying the talent, right? Right. You know, that's uh, gonna suck. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it, it's really a question of, uh, I mean, if I were back in California right now, if I had a radio show where I could promote comedy shows, I would start doing more of my outdoor venues like I did with the Frost Amphitheater, where people could maintain a certain distance from each other, you know, and then instead of bringing 8,000 people in, bring in 4,000 people. Uh huh. That might work. Yeah. You know, and tell them to stay apart, uh, and uh, and I'm sure they would. You know, but if everybody wears masks, uh, you, your your chances of spreading it, of it being spread, diminish greatly. Okay, so uh, you know that uh, that's really where we're at. So what's the new normal? You know, I don't think no, your business is not going to get back to normal. But there will be some accommodation for it, um, because I think people still want to have, uh, you know, want to want to have own comedy clubs, but they have to figure out a new way of doing it. And I don't know if they've come up with that yet. Has anybody there, out where you are, talked about? Mo- I haven't heard anything what they're going to do, so I don't know. Um, but, I mean, yeah, you can't. Uh... What the punchline seats one hundred and fifty? So what are they going to put forty people in there? And well, I mean, if it seats one hundred and fifty, then it'll probably have to do seventy five. You know, and then they're going to have to pay you less, or they're going to have to do more shows per night. That's another option. <laughs> you know, and that you'll have to call ahead and make a reservation. That they you can't just walk in the door. So they can uh, control that. I see those all as possibilities. Yeah, and then uh, bigger, you know, baseball is trying to get going. I don't know how that's going to work where you got 30,000 people, but it is outside. So may, that's... Well, but they may not have, uh, may not have an audience, they may not have a crowd. They're playing, they're doing NASCAR right now with empty seats, you know. Uh, they're going to try some basketball without, uh, an audience or, you know, a crowd or whatever. Um, I, I don't know. My question is how it would affect the game. You know, yeah, the crowd's a big part of the game. So, well, I mean, do are, are the players juiced by the crowd? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, we say absolutely, but I've asked some players, do you hear the crowd when you're out on the field? And because I never ask normal sports questions since I don't know normal sports. Uh, and uh, the answer I usually got was, no, it's just a constant sound that is there that becomes part of your environment. So I'm, I'm really questioning what's going to happen when that sound is removed from them. And they're going, they're rushing down the field to make the goal, and there's nobody cheering. Will they have the incentive to run to the other side of the field? Yeah, be, well, I don't know, be like a comic doing the joke and not getting any laugh. <laughs> well, I mean, you could not do comedy in front of no audience. No, I have these people call, hey, you want to do our Zoom show, which technically I couldn't do anyway, but you're, you, know, you can't do comedy, you can't hear anything, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and... and um, I, and, and like when we're talking here, I don't expect you to tell jokes. You know, if, if you say one, you know, great. You know, well, I never did that anyway. I never expected the comics to perform on my show. Uh, no, that's why you were different from the other morning shows because it was more conversational and in the moment. And it's, yeah. I that never. I when you listen to those shows where guys would come on and do their act, it was terrible. Well, I also didn't want you as a performer. Uh, to uh, suddenly feel you had to do your act or you had to be funny every minute. I would rather you be conversational, and out of that conversation, you come up with some material that you never thought you had. You yeah. Know? And uh, some uh, 
some comics are really good at that somewhere. So. Yeah. There were some people who did great on my show and others who, who I really liked. Who did? Yeah, there are guys I remember, you guys you like, but they just didn't quite fit into your show. Jim Samuels, God bless him, if I believed in God, um, who was a comic, uh, who died. He died, was one of the ones in those early days that died of AIDS. 30 years ago this month. I thought the world of Jim Samuels. I like uh, Jim Samuels. Love Jim. He's a great guy. That lovely, wonderful guy. Was terrible on my show. He just didn't work well on radio. So I didn't book him that much because of that factor. That and the fact that he was gay and I don't want any queers on the <laughs> show. But that's a nice. um, The fact was that, that I, I really uh, liked him a lot, but he just never nailed it. He was never able to connect on radio. And there were other comics who maybe weren't as good as Jim Samuels who I had on all the time because they worked well on radio. You know, so it it really, you know, you you were one of the ones that worked well in clubs and radio, so let's not, you know. <laughs> I'm a double threat. You're a double threat. Here's here's what I here's what my my latest problem with you is. I now have it so that all the comics I do and I'm doing you and I'm doing uh Kravitz, and I'm doing uh, Pearl, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I was doing Will, but Will obviously has other business to attend to right now. Um, uh, Will, I always used to have with video. He could he could do Skype. Then all of a sudden, Zoom came along. So now I do Pearl and I do Kravitz using Zoom because they have phones, right? You're the only one that still remains audio. I'm the holdout. You're the holdout. I mean, if if only you could get yourself one. I've, I've offered you one of my old phones, you know. Uh, I had uh, talked to some uh, guy a couple weeks ago, very successful. <laughs> he said, I'm going to give you an iPhone. Is it an iPhone 11? Whatever the latest yeah, one is. Yeah, yeah. He was going He was going to give me one of those, and I said no. What? Yep. It's what? Loaded, but really? Who who yeah. was it? Do I know? No, no. Oh, okay. But really? Yeah. You turned it down? I turned it on an eleven. Why are you turn why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> okay. I know what the, you know, I know how very... technology works with me is I'm gonna get a phone like that, I'm gonna try to do something that's not gonna work, I'm gonna get frustrated. And throw it against the wall. I got news for you. Those phones were made to, for, for technology idiots like you. I've heard that, but I don't believe it. I mean, Zoom is so easy that you, you get email, right? Yeah. So you get an email on your thing, on your iPhone from me. And it has a link. And you just click on that. Just You just push the, the link. And you're automatically talking to me on Zoom. How easy is that, Larry Bubbles? Go get that. It wouldn't work for me. I know it. Go get that iPhone 11, okay? <laughs> Do us all a favor. We would love to see what you look like. Uh, not really. <laughs> By the way, Pearl hasn't aged a bit. Yeah, he still looks good, right? Yeah, he still looks like Pearl. You know? Yeah. 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 I have no idea what you look like these days. I'll send a photo of <laughs> <But> snail mail. <laughs> snail mail. I'll send a photo on my... Uh... Yeah, what's your address? I'll mail it to you. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I get it developed, I'll send it to you. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, geez, almighty. But, you know, if, if only you would get that phone, damn it. You know, and I've got a couple old ones that are, are really good and work okay, you know. Um, so, I mean, come on, uh, you know, uh, we, we got it. We got to get you just, uh, you know, it would be nice to see you. It'd be nice for the audience to be able to see you. Instead, I run this static little picture of you with, uh, some 
your name and some stuff going on on the on the thing while this, these interviews are going on. So. Well, maybe I'm a Luddite. I don't know. It, it, you don't know? <laughs> You're the king of the Luddites. <laughs> if, if there was a picture in the dictionary to describe Luddite, there'd be a picture of Larry Bubbles Brown. So I guess the Amish don't use the Internet, right? Good. Go live in Pennsylvania. Anyway, <laughs> we've run out of time, Larry Bubbles Brown. <laughs> it flies by quickly with no technology. I'll talk to you next week without you any visual. It. Okay. Bye-bye. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, and that's Larry Bubbles Brown. We love Larry, don't we love Larry? We love Larry. Yes, we love him a lot. Okay, uh, we're going to be using um, uh, uh, our new thing that we've been used, we've been trying uh, to use for a while here, um, and it's uh, the um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Zoom. Okay. And what I'm doing is I've just disabled the waiting room so that when you come on, you will come on directly on the program. If you want to know how to get to Zoom, go to gabnet.net in the center of the page. There's a thing that says if you want to call us on Zoom, uh, just click here. And you just click there, and that's all you have to do. The, the rest is taken care of, and then you're here with us on the program. Uh, if you don't want to go to gabnet.net, you can go to my Facebook page, which is Facebook forward slash uh, A Bennett, A B E N N E T T. Or if you're watching us on YouTube uh, at, uh, uh, as, uh, as part of the uh, description of the show and so on, uh, there is a link and you click on that. So it's so simple, it's ridiculous. And now I simply sit here waiting for people to call. Last night it was a little difficult because it was the first time we did it, and some people were having problems. Phil was having a problem because I think he had the old Zoom or something in his computer. You don't, By the way, you don't, the great thing is you don't have to have Zoom in your computer in order to be able to call us, okay? All you have to do is click on that link, and Zoom does the rest. However, if you have Zoom installed... It makes it a little bit easier. It makes it a little bit easier. But anyway, let me just do something here and put us in gallery view. And uh, and, and guess what, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, here is, let me go down here and get this and uh, do that. And there we go. There's Brian Neary already. See how easy that is? And Charlie Wallace just joined us. Hello, Charlie. No trouble tonight, right, Charlie? Charlie, no. Uh, uh, are you listening to us, Charlie? Can you hear us? Yeah, I think he's setting up his audio. Oh, okay. And I had to go back and mute Facebook because oh. oh. it was on Facebook. Oh, uh, it was on Facebook. I see. Okay, and here's Phil. Phil had no problem tonight, right, Phil? Uh, worked flawlessly. There's a couple of steps uh, I'd have to get used to, but uh, it pretty, pretty, uh, you know, easy. Yeah, damn easy. So anyway. And the picture looks good, you know, and uh, if people want to call, just, you know, just call and you'll automatically be, uh, be uh, uh, sent over to us. So uh, all you had to do was click on the link, right? Yeah, that's what I yeah. did. Yeah. And uh, none of you have had a problem tonight. And uh, the true test will be when we hear from uh, Jeff, whether he, <laughs> he gets through. Um, well, his wife. Uh, Pam, uh, you know, helps him. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. It's interesting. A woman in the family is the person who knows how to use the computers. Isn't that amazing? Well, you know, that old joke, uh, uh, who was the old comedian that said it? Uh, it's so easy a six year old could put it together. So <laughs> you, six -year -old. you can find a six year old to help me with this. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I always used to say, you want to fix your computer, just find the closest kid you can find, and he probably w can do it. Huh? It was W.C. Fields. Was it W.C. Fields who said that? Yeah. Like anybody knows who W.C. Fields was anymore. Well, he, God, he, W.B. Fields' brother. Huh? He was W.B. Fields' brother. Uh, yeah, right. 
Anyway, so uh, folks, so call. It's simple. It's easy, and uh, you know, uh, we'll uh, we'll wait for you to to join us. Uh, but we have a crowd assembled here tonight. Uh, Brian Neary, who uh, I guess business is going to be picking up, Brian, because we're getting a lot sicker around the country, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Our stock has jumped back already, even though there's a little bump today. But yeah, our stock is already back to where it was before all the big drops. So we're doing good. Yeah. We topped four million cartridges, and then yesterday, as Phil knows, Phil ping me because we're on TV, but. We just uh, we announced that we're going to have the the flu div the flu div uh, test that I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to be testing four four different flu um, uh, uh, disease well yeah assays on this cartridge now. Yeah, yeah so that will yeah. be coming out in a few months. So it's pretty wow. Cool. Yeah, your director of medicine was being interviewed by KTVU. Yeah, he's Mr. Personality. Yeah, the well, guy, yeah, you know, but hey, what else do you expect? He, he makes good cartridges. <laughs> yeah, he's a smart guy. Yeah. Uh, uh, right there is Charlie Wallace. Yes, Charlie. Uh, I just wanted to mention that Austin, Texas uh, uh, tied its all time high for a uh, single day uh, COVID uh, infections. Oh, really? Well, today, congratula yeah. congratulations. Yeah. And Tomorrow, it's do better. Close, it's also getting close to uh, full capacity at its hospital emergency. Mm. Well, that's what isn't isn't Austin a college town and uh, and uh, quite liberal? High tech. Yeah. Yeah. But the Texas yeah. legislature has passed laws saying that Austin cannot restrict people going outside. When they opened up the state, they forced Austin to op open up. Wow. So you mean that the people who live there can't do the right thing, social distance? Oh, you can do much it. Much. You can do it, but you won't be able to get uh, unemployment. Uh, but, uh, you don't need unemployment if you're not sick. By the way, speaking of another, another Texan yeah, who's right. here, we've been joined you by. Be, you don't need food if you're not sick. Yeah. We've been joined by Scott Boddicker, uh who test, is test, test. Is this thing working? Yes, test, yes. Test, test, test. test, 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 test. test. <laughs> I can't hear shit. Come on. <laughs> Was that simple enough, uh, Scott? Test these. No, I actually time. had to go and download the Zoom and stuff, and but. I figured it out. I tried last night. And I couldn't do it, so I tried again today. Oh, okay. I, had, I had a problem too, Scott. It, uh, it was uh, I didn't realize that you needed an update. Well, there's a difference why you, Phil, had a problem, and between that and why Scott did. Scott did because he just didn't have it installed. Although you do not have to have it installed. It's just that uh, it, it's Zoom does all the work for you. Uh, why, why does it Why does it ask you to open up Zoom when you click on your link? Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. It did. It did. Yes. Well, anyway. see, on the Mac, it did. Yeah. If, if you have, but it's okay. It, Keep going. It, it, no, it's going good. You, you got on okay, and and the difference is that Phil is a moron, and you're a very smart person, <laughs> and that's the difference between the two people. It took me two days, so it was a little difficult. So don't yeah. get don't you know don't, it's not as simple as people. <laughs> don't think. disparage me so fast. Yeah. It was it, it was a uh, hey, Scott. Scott, you're, you're Plano, Texas, right? Was, was uh, Armstrong from there? I just saw that 30 for 30. Was Lance yes. Armstrong from there? Yeah, he graduated high school here, then he went down to all the yeah, he, training he in the hills. Yeah. Ah, okay. See? Okay. Austin claims him. It, 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 or, oh, really? It, Austin claimed him? Oh, you can yeah. have him. No, it, it's all right. It's all right. We yeah. both have a bit of him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Plano is the home of. Are you ready for this? Uh, how do I know this? This kind of trivia. It's it's the home of Snapple. Uh, Am I right? I I think they're part of Dr Pepper or whatever. You no, know, but, but they're yeah. but the company is in in Plano. Yes. The headquarters. Yeah. Yes. Is in, in Plano. So. There you go. Plano, Texas. Plano, Texas. So, uh, so you two people are in Texas. You know, Texas today had a, a huge jump. Yeah. Uh, it seems that a lot, most of these states that opened up. I mean, the the it, the the it's so bad right now. It's turned around and gotten so bad in the country, in the rest of the country, not here in New York, that the stock market dumped eighteen hundred points. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I stopped looking after a thousand. Oh yeah, eighteen hundred. Texas ain't slowing down though. What? Texas is not slowing down. It's gonna it's gonna open up even more businesses next week. And that's stupid. It is just yeah. stupid. I mean, what you do is you 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 use science to determine your opening. 
That's what we've done here in New York. And believe me, if we see anything turning around to any appreciable amount, we're closing everything down again. You know, this is... I believe in science. But, well, I mean, uh, it, it's. I think we've got a uh, we we've got an administration that has not done anything in this whole thing. I mean, they've they've been completely out to lunch on it. This uh, is a pretty tired subject. No, it's not a tired subject because yeah. what about Seattle? What do you think about uh, the, you know them succeeding from the nation and uh, the little town that they set up and. Uh, that they're shaking down local merchants. I don't care about oh, that. I care I, about the fact did that. Did you see it? It looked like a street fair. They call it a street fair today. Yeah, yeah. but they're armed. Uh, they're uh, beating up people that go in, and they're shaking down local merchants and uh, damaging things. And they've taken over the police. Station. Where, where, where did you hear this version of it, uh, Brian? Is this your? I didn't see that. CNN. Shaking CNN. Down I saw they were calling it like a street fair because. People are just walking around and unbelievable the the hypocrisy or. that uh, that I'm seeing there. Uh, the Seattle uh, uh, East Police Station uh, was taken over. the uh -huh. The mayor ordered the police to let it go, and yeah. it's been taken over by terrorists. Basically, oh. uh, you oh, watch the Antifada; they're there. They're there. They're they changed it to the Antifa. people department. They yeah. put people over police. Right. So the people department, they boarded it up, they did some graffiti, and they're just taking pictures of it. Come on. They didn't burn it down like Minneapolis. No, they, they didn't burn it down because uh, the people who took it over want to use it as a uh, as a facility for... Oh, for their... yeah. What about the Chicago police? Well, listen, the Chicago we... Chicago uh, police that were caught in this, the, the congressman's uh, office yeah. for five hours while they were looting downstairs in Chicago. Were they with the congressman's yeah. wife? Huh? Were they, with, they were in there for five hours. Were they with the congressman's wife? No, they were eating the guy's popcorn. He wasn't happy. About <laughs> no, I haven't heard the story about this going on in Seattle. Oh, but wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Like hold on. CNN hold on. I have not heard anything about it. So board. let me let me go to Brian Neary's version of what you saw as being the story. Did you see my it? version? Yeah. Yeah. My my version was yeah like people were walking up and down. There weren't, at first when I heard it, it sounded like they were under siege, like it was like a regular, you know, the big mob scene. Mm -hmm. And people were just like walking around. They just went up to the police department, took a picture. They had to board it up, graffiti, and they changed and said police department. It says people department. And they were very calm. I, I don't know why the police weren't there. There weren't. You know why you saw that? People. I saw a clip. Uh, CNN was filmed telling one of the protesters to do a second take. On his uh, on you know what what they were doing, CNN uh, is fake news, and they did set up something that they called news, and it was actually staged. Charlie, yeah, to talk about fake news. Phil yesterday said that CNN took down the poll where they were had Biden. I heard it wrong. You're right. Head. You're right. They I did I not take it, it down. Okay. Trump oh, demanded was, they take it Trump, down. Yeah, right. So how can we trust you on this one, Phil? Because I saw this one and I was sober, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. The radiation is kicking in, so I'm, yeah. Ooh, I'm feeling pretty the good. The Antifa is, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm Antifa, you know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hashtag Antifa lives matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, we're changing it to the, 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 us from uh, to from Gabnet to Antifa's Gabnet. So, right. Yeah. Well, you don't even need the Gabnet. Just yeah. just go straight Antifa. You know. Well, I guess your pre you know our president wants us to think that Antifa actually really exists and uses it as a straw dog. You know. Now right. here's what here's what idiot boy is doing now. He's having a rally on. Uh, on Friday, which is the nineteenth, yes, is the anniversary of the freeing of the slaves. It's it's called Juneteenth, is what the name is. Yeah, it, it, go ahead. You got your hand up, uh, Charlie. Yeah, he's he's making everybody that attends that rally sign a waiver absolving yeah. Donald Trump and the Republican Party against all, you know, all. If they anybody gets sick with COVID, they can't sue. Trump. Yeah. 
Now, well, he women, but, 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 but there's we're one other, there's one other, there's one other factor here. It they're doing it on the uh, the uh, anniversary of the freeing of of the slaves. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, and and and, and you know what else happened in Tulsa on that day? Yes. The biggest massacre of black people that ever yep. took place in this country. What do you think Ca called that, the that called the Black Wall that Black Wall Street riot? So the people that celebrate uh, Juneteenth, do you think that they're actually going to show up at the rally? Uh, Phil, you know, that, that, you're them. taking us off. Rally, you're you're taking us off topic. We're saying that this guy it has so little respect for other human beings that he is going to hold it on that particular day so he can piss people off and do it in Tulsa, home. Uh, on the anniversary of the worst massacre of black people in America. Just remember, if a tree falls in the forest and you're not there, do you hear anything? Phil, you don't understand what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I, mean, I, I understand. The man, I the man has no compassion. He has no, uh, he's not a decent, he's, he's not a mensch, Phil. Uh, you know, you can call him every name under the sun, but he's my president. You can have him. You can oh, have it. I'll have them again for four more years. So how's the radiation going? It's glowing. Uh, this morning, they finally gave me some early morning appointments. You know, they were killing my day. Uh, they had me come in at 1 o'clock, 11 o'clock. I, I said, this is crazy. It's a half hour drive down, a half hour drive back, a half hour in the thing. You're destroying my day. So they gave me some 730s and some 8s. And uh, this morning was 930, but uh, the, the rest of them were going to be early. Hmm. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know. You I get up at 430 anyway. One so. more day and you got one week out of the way. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I, I don't really have any side effects. Uh, I really don't. <laughs> uh, I didn't feel side effects from the radiation until maybe the last one. And then really? I started feeling, I, I had certain urinary problems, things like that. Yeah, uh, yeah it's more frequent now. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the, the hardest thing is, uh, is drinking the damn water uh, because I got to fill the bladder because when they give you the radiation, if the bladder's full, it pushes it out of the way of the radiation. Well, you know what they didn't do, didn't do to you, which they did to me, I had to have two operations. I had yeah. to have an operation in which the, he goes in, puts me under, and then puts in a spacer. Oh, a probe. No, oh, a, a oh, spacer, spacer between oh. my rectum and the uh, and, and the uh, 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 the prostate, so yeah. that the rectum doesn't get radiated. Well, uh, they they put a spacer uh, in me. They they pushed me over. Some one of the gay guys there. He just no. says here. <laughs> yeah. You would have known. That's why your butt hurt, you said, right? They have to put you out, and then they put in some <laughs> stuff in there. And, and you he, know, they looked at me and they said, "We don't want to do him." <laughs> There's know? stuff. They, they put stuff in there. Okay. Yeah, no, uh, I didn't have a prostate to protect. I, I, well, no. And, no. And, no. Oh no, you're not doing your prostate right. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing. You can, the, they can't radiate his prostate, folks, because if they do, they probably got to go to a garbage can somewhere. Yeah. And do no, it. They, they're doing the margins, the areas that the prostate was, and it's just like a shotgun. They they don't know where anything is. They couldn't pinpoint it. They they got a test and they said, okay, let's do this. Can't they? And, well, uh, I I don't know. It's all yeah. it's it's all fake science. They, they, yeah, they, 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 they did it so fast. They didn't really even give me a chance to get a second opinion. It's just, you know, okay, now you're going to do this. I think they make a lot of money out of that machine. Oh, and, do you know how much? Do you know how much between the? <laughs> I got the bills. Okay, yeah. uh, between the, um, uh, well, the, 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 what do you call it? The first one, the radiation, yeah. was forty five. Well, excuse me, was sixty thousand. Wow. And then the. Uh, Seeds, the prostate seeds, was another forty-five thousand. Yeah. Plus, there was about five thousand for the spacer, and you know, by the time I was through, I I, I was over a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, wow, it went well over a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, well, we'll all be eager to hear uh, how your uh, test goes if PSA went down. Well, it, no, it's not going to go down. Uh, yeah, well, eventually it will. 
Eventually it will, but it doesn't immediately. Because I, I, you know, it, it inflamed the prostate and that caused a problem. But anyway, I just wanted to see Are how we it's losing going audience with prostate talk. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Um, but uh, you know, there are people out there. How many of you out there hope that uh, don't? Uh, how many of you wish ill on uh, on on Phil? Because I don't. Oh, you do, Scott. Okay, Scott. Good. That's not very Christian. <laughs> I <laughs> like quit going to church, though it's affected me. No, he's not Christian. He's Catholic. Same thing. <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's a Catholic. I guess a Catholic is considered Christian, right, Scott? The original Christians, yes. The original Christians. That sounds like some kind of rock group. The original Christians. <laughs> you know. Hello there, Tony. You know what I love? Oh, and here comes here comes Jeff. Okay, Pam's helping him. Pam. <laughs> Hi, Pam. Yeah, we need his face in the picture. There we go. There's Jeff. You know what I love about this? I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. I'm, I'm not sitting here saying, oh, let's see, which one are you? What's your name? i got to put you in here and put you in there and so on. No, this, you know. This is not bad. Huh? I like the Zoom better. Well, you like Zoom better? I do. It's so easy. Like just to click on. Yeah. Can you put graphics up on this? I I, I have graphics. I have one graphic, the Gabnet logo, superimposed on it. But I can't. Yeah, oh, I, can't, I, see. I can't do anything with the with the group. I it it's going to assemble the group like it's going to assemble the group. And by the way, folks. I can have a lot of people here. I can have, I pay for it. I can have a hundred people at a time. Of course, I wouldn't want a hundred people at a time. And if you get more than 20, it goes over to another page or something. Really? Yeah. So then I would have to see what I can do is I can always just uh, go to speaker view and then you can see who's talking, right? Uh, or I can go uh, to gallery view and that's this, see? Yeah. Well, speaker view is pretty interesting because then you see who's making noise. Uh, I guess that would be the case. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, I can also do that by uh, by muting everybody oh, one wait a by minute. one. Uh, the, the speaker view made the one person come up on the whole page. That's no good. Well, that but that's that's why it's called speaker view, Phil. Yeah, but you don't get the reactions. Uh, you know. I know, I know. But I just thought I would mention that that's what you can do. Like if, if you have a hundred people and you don't know who's talking, you can hit speaker view and see who's talking. Mm. Yeah. What do you think of our reactions, Phil? When you talk, <laughs> you want to see our reactions? Uh, yeah. You know that that's show business. Yeah. This is all really, all, all a very it's a great uh, you know, it's a great reaction. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, American Patriots back up again, being a bad boy tonight. Oh, oh by the way, by the way, uh, Trump doesn't like mail-in ballots, right? Because it calls, it creates fraud, right? Joe Biden today brought up the fact. How do you think Donald Trump votes? I guess it's mail-in by mail. Yes, he does. That he is. Now that is that unbelievable. But it's all right for his to go in the mail, but not ours. Yeah, right. My mother can drop dead at the voting booth to come home with COVID, but it's okay. Just as long as yeah. It's what, what do you got there, Charlie? Got your mail-in ballot there? You can, I got a mail-in ballot for the primary. How many yeah. did you get? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna get your dude. Twenty-five. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, 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 we, have, we have we have ours sitting out the there. Primary. We have ours sitting out there for the primary too. So I gotta and I gotta fill it out. Send it you back know, in. Any, any, wasn't that the publisher's clearinghouse uh, envelope? <laughs> oh, I was going to tell you, Alex. I have to. I told Shecky, mm -hmm. I have to take the COVID test for my colonoscopy. My doctor told me on my television. Yeah, anybody who goes yeah. through any kind of surgery. I was going to tell you. Yeah, that. It's yeah. Like that here too. Yeah, yeah, has to get the COVID test. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Tony, yeah. Just bend over and they stick that COVID uh, swab. It goes right up my, he throat. said it's bad, Alex. Yeah. It goes all the way to the back. Mar nah, Marjorie they, said it wasn't that deep. 
Was that, I'm worried now. But Marjorie, you know, Marjorie said it wasn't that deep at all. No? Okay. But then again, that's what she said about me. Uh, Jeff? Well, she said it was a both <laughs> okay. I got my goop inside, Alex. I think that's going the test. On. What? They Jeff took it. They found that I passed. What? You, hey. you passed? You got COVID? Yeah. Pam <laughs> and I both did it. Yeah. And? And, and, and you, we're okay. You're okay. Why did you decide to take it? Until tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jeff, why, why did you decide to take the test? Because where I live, there's like 500 people, all yeah. over 65 or 45 or whatever the thing is. Yeah. And they came in and said, if you want to sign it up, sign it up, and next week we're going to do it. And uh, we signed up and did it. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, uh, Marjorie got hers, so I see no reason to get mine. Because the only person I've really come into contact with in the last three months is her, yeah. right? Uh, Plus, whatever, you, whatever you've done, mm -hmm. it's not going to help you next week, the next day. Yeah, and we don't, you know, the funny part is, you, you know, you can get it, uh, Tony. You can get it whenever you're going to get it. When, when are you getting your yeah, COVID? Uh, July 9th, so my doctor told me that I have to call them up July 1st because they want to have it in where you, like, right before. Because I'm having everything done. Marjorie had to have hers. Done. She had hers done the day before she had her procedure. Yeah. yeah. He's telling uh, me maybe three days before. Yeah. And they, they get, get the result? They, they get it that quick. Uh, they got Marjorie's well, yeah, they'll result? Have it, they'll know, yeah. What? Marjorie's result that quickly? Yes. Just within, within, a, within a day. Yeah. She, she did it in, in what... Uh, Maybe 10 o'clock in the morning uh, on a Monday, and on Tuesday morning at 9, she called them, and they gave her results. Did she see the <laughs> machine that they were it? using? Or no. Did it say team expert? No. No, <laughs> no. and, and then, they, then, they, uh, then they also uh, sent her a uh, copy of the, of the report. Yeah. Yeah. You know what my doctor told me, Alex? He told me that for him to go to NYU, he's got to take the test twice a week. Really? Yeah, because he's whatever twice a week. He said he said I, I'm almost positive that's what he told me because I didn't tell him this. Well, it's, it, 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 according to Marjorie, don't worry, Tony. According to Marjorie, worried, I said, did they put it in really deep? She said, no, they put it in just a little ways. Yeah, okay. and don't I'm worry. Not, I'm, don't worry about it. Yeah, I get nervous over this. Stuff. You're not going to hear your go. brain pan go clank. Okay. okay. I'm thinking it's going to be back while my eyes like at home. He, he told me it's going to be uncomfortable. Just close your eyes and be able to pass. Just for a second. Yeah. 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 So, so what? Yeah. What exactly. happened? But, what, but if you find out that you've got COVID, oh God. you can't, yeah, you can't get your colonoscopy. The good news is you can't get your colonoscopy. The bad news is you've got COVID. I know. You, I don't think I have it, though, because I would have known I had that. I think you would. You know. Yeah, right. That's what I told him. He says, "No, he said just stay safe," because I told him oh. I'd take care of my mother. I'd have to quarantine myself. Well, I was happy that you know that Marjorie uh, came out the way she did because my whole attitude is that uh, uh, she, um, it, it, you know, since she doesn't have it, uh, it's nice to know that I don't have it, and that what I've got is, you know, hay fever. So. Yeah, that's like you're like me. I, I said, I said, do you have allergies? It's only when the guys cut the grass and stuff. That I'm, yeah. But other than that, he said, no, he said, if you had it, he said you would know. You would mm -hmm. definitely know you have something. He and you know what he said to me, Alex? Yeah. He says, don't. I said, how bad is it, Doc? He says, listen. He said, I'm being honest. He said, that's nothing to play around with. He's seen it up close. He says, COVID is dead serious. Oh and yeah. Don't let no. them any different. It's not. It's not good. It's not good. Um, I. I th I think maybe somebody I know is dead from it, or uh, because I've been trying to get really? a hold of them for a couple of days. Uh, I I well, first I wrote them nice. wrote them an email didn't get anything back wrote another email didn't get anything back, then I text him to his phone, and no reply, and this is you know where he lives, I, I no I I at Brooklyn I don't know where exactly, you know I'll tell Tony to go there. Tell Tony to go there. Yeah, my go to Tony. There. Knock on his door. Yeah, I hope he's all right though. Anyway, uh, well, where do you send the check or the uh, for the uh, storage? Uh, you send it to him, right? What? 
you uh, when you pay uh, your uh, half uh, of the storage. Oh yeah, talking? yeah. Uh, we do it by by what do you call that? What's that service? Uh, no, no. Uh, that uh, we're bank to bank. Thing. What's the name? Uh, oh, direct deposit. No, no, it's not direct deposit. Memo. Memo? No, it's called uh, well, the, file transfer. transfer. No, there's a name for it. L. 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 I know. Yeah. L. You can't have the police do a well check on him? He doesn't I, know where he lives. I don't know where he lives. Oh, contact the attorney who handled the estate. He doesn't mm-hmm. hasn't talked to either of us. Yeah, but he knows where he lived. But he moved since then. Huh. <laughs> uh, oh you got to do a tracer. You, you find out from where he moved. Where now, he, now, now, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to one more thing. I'm going to try calling the number and see. What, oh, look at that sunset. Marin. Oh, I love it. If it weren't so infected. Uh, not Marin, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of clouds out there. So later on, it'll all turn pink. Well, the whole the whole the whole scenery. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be an old man downstairs in my rocking chair just watching that. Yeah. You're a little you're a little out of focus there. You got to. Yeah. yeah. What, what, yeah, what? I'm sure I don't. The doctors, you don't got it. You would know Tony. You no, know, you'd you'd have some symptoms of some sort. You, you know. must have it, Tony. That's the only reason you, you know, are the way you are. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, my mother wanted to go down. My brother's going to take me to the hospital. She's like, "Can I go?" What? She, you're the doctor. Your mother can't go. They're not going to let her in. I have to. I have to have a blood draw on Monday, and I don't mind blood draws because oh, yeah? I've, I've gotten so used to them now. Yeah. It's, Alex, I, you go into the doctor's office for that? No, I'm going to go into a, a lab to get it done. But you don't need to take the test off for that? What? COVID? No, I don't need the COVID test to get a b- blood draw, Tony. It's when oh, you okay. are being operated on. Oh, when they, you're they, they, having COVID a procedure. Therapy. Free. The huh? government's paying for them. You know, really? Phil, yeah, so I don't free. need it. Marjorie isn't sick. You're just afraid to have them stick the thing up your no. nose. I just, I, just I, see, I see no reason to put, uh, I see no reason to take up a space somebody else could use. Yes, Charlie. I would have it done in a heartbeat, but they won't let me because they don't have enough tests here, enough test kits. Well, what happened is they'd say here in New York, if you don't have symptoms and you haven't been in contact with somebody who has it, then you sh- don't need to. Be, then you shouldn't be tested. Because they want to be able to get enough tests done on all the people who suspect they yep. might have a problem, you know. You know, after you actually go and have the uh, the scan and uh, you know the other things done that you're going to do, mm-hmm. the, uh, and the blood test, uh, then you should say now do the COVID thing and see if you were exposed when you were down there. They don't do the COVID at this oh, lab. No. Oh, you're not going to do it at the hospital. No, I'm doing. I just said I'm doing it in a lab. There's uh, a lab down the street, about five blocks, six blocks. Quest. That would that would have to mean I was listening to you. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, and I, I I'm walking down to it and then going in, and I'm doing it early at nine fifteen in the morning. That's the hard part for me, getting up that early. You know, okay, but I'm doing it at nine fifteen because that's the senior time, and they give you special uh, handling. Oh, you get a lollipop. <laughs> no, they give me a young girl, <laughs> and it's uh, it's uh, here. You've been very good. You got your blood drawn. Now here, somebody to have sex with. It's very nice. B- big joke because you know with all that they've been doing to my prostate, it's amazing it works at all. So uh, there are a couple of a couple of stories. Uh, one story that I wanted to uh, uh, deal with here. And that is the renaming of air force of, of military bases. Military bases. There are a lot of military bases that were named after, and I didn't know that some of them even were, you know, uh, Confederate. Confederate figures right. like uh, Fort Bragg, as an oh, example. Good. That's it. Yeah, I didn't know that was named. I didn't know how. I mean, when they say Fort Lee, like there's Fort Lee, New Jersey. Mm. I wonder hey, if they're going to change that one. Yeah, yeah. they should. But I don't think it was named after Robert E. Lee. Hey, not. you know, we, the guy, the cop that killed uh, uh, George Floyd, mm-hmm. do you think it was due to racism or just due to the fact that he was an idiot? You know, that he was a bad cop and he... And you yeah. really think he'd have done that to a white guy? Yeah, I, I think that, you know... Okay. Fine. Yeah. 
fine. All right, I don't, fine. you know, you believe, I, you believe I, it, that's fine. Don't worry about I, it. I, I, I just don't see, you know, where the racism I think part. that him being black was a mitigating circumstance. For yeah, that but the guy. other two guys there were Oriental. No, they were. Oriental? Yeah, Asian. Uh, Asian. Uh, uh, do we use that term anymore, Phil? No. Oriental? Does that mean Chinese? Or Racist yeah. do. It's yeah. not Oriental, Phil. It's Chinaman. Uh, uh, pink, you mean? Uh, That's my yeah. grandfather. Oh, uh, I think they, they were from. The they weren't Thai. They, they were, you know, uh, maybe. Uh, they. Phil, let's not let's not Oriental. try to make excuse for this guy. Crazy, yeah. not crazy. Racist, not racist. Doesn't I, matter. What he whole, did was pure and utter whole, murder. This whole thing they're saying is racist, and I just don't see the racism in what the guy did. Let's say for a moment it wasn't <clears throat> racism. There have been so many people that have been killed because of their race by police that we kind of have suspicions it might have played something into Not this. good enough. You know, you don't you don't burn down police stations and kill cops and no, put you, three you burn down police people. stations because it's fun. Yeah. You, yeah. you don't do those things uh, in the well, name of racism. They're not uh, doing it because they're racist. They're doing it because they're white people. Who? Burning down the cops. They're not uh, racist either. Oh, no, are they? oh no, yeah, yeah, right. It's right. more than just white people. It's, it's a lot of people. It's young people. But I, I just don't. You know, when I when I look at the guy, uh, I, I'm just not I'm just not seeing the racism. What? In it. How can you not see point. or not see racism in somebody who you are even standing in front of and talking to? I see him. That's with idiocy, Nick Phil. The guy's neck. Yeah, but what did you hear, Phil? What did you hear? Hear about what? I think did hearing I hear? is a big thing with that. That's that they let that pro that one officer out on bail. And that was the one that told him, should we turn him back? Should we turn him over? Yeah. You know? But what and does that have to do? That, that, the, the hearing of him asking for breath and stuff like that is, is almost worse than seeing it. because you Well, it was that. terrible. Yeah. It was terrible. But it, was it done because the guy was black? I, I don't think so. I do. You know, I, I just I just don't see that. I, I didn't hear. Uh, did they yell any racist epithets, epithets at, 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 uh, at the guy? You know, they had recordings. I think the way in which they were handling him, considering the circumstances, uh, was a racial epithet well, in and of itself. The, the two of them were on the job for less than a week. They were in training. Look, those guys, those guys I have a little bit of uh, forgiveness for. Only because they were new at the job and they were only doing what they figured they were supposed to do because they were following the lead of somebody with far more experience than them. The I training agree. officer. He was the training officer of these, at least one of them. I think the Asian guy was the training officer for the other dude. Other guy, yeah. 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 So, so, but, you know, I, I just didn't hear, uh, well, I haven't, I don't know that anybody's heard. Uh, you know, a, a racial uh, screaming. You don't it, have to have a racial slur guy, to create. Wait a minute, Phil. You don't have to have a racial slur yeah. to have a racial action. It would give you an indication. You know, uh, I, I know Charlie wants to say something, but you know, with that Aubrey guy. And God in forbid, Georgia, Charlie should say something. Yeah, the Aubrey yeah. guy in Georgia. They had a recording, and the son of the the guy who shot uh, the uh, yeah, we, the know. Junker, we know, we know, know. They had you know ra a racial epithet. Uh, let me see here. Uh, Charlie. See, I can point at him because I know where he is. There's yeah. Charlie. The, the racism comes in as systemic racism because of the way that black people are treated by cops in general or very often uh, around the country. It wasn't just there. There are people yeah. in Minneapolis that we're worried about racism. It's all around the country. We have a lot of black people being shot, unarmed black men being shot. They, they say that all of this is over George Floyd and and the and and the killing. No, it's not. Black no, man. Phil, it's it is. Like you know what it is back. right now? Would you agree with me, Charlie? He is being so white. Yeah. Phil, that it's ridiculous because he doesn't understand the simple fact. Of what it's like I to be a wait a minute. Let truth. me finish, yeah. Phil. Yeah, you're not telling the truth. You're you're only telling what you perceive to be your truth. The point I is that that you don't know what it's like to be a black person in America, 
and have had this been be a factor in your life every day of your life. And this, the George Floyd thing, is just the tipping that's, point. It, that's it, racist. It, that well, statement, Alex, is racist in itself. How is that racist? Yes, because what it does is it singles out. I don't know what it's like. No, to be a you black don't. Person. No, you Therefore, don't. And neither do I, Phil. No, and neither no, do no, I. No, no, no. That that it makes but, sense. But but I have I something. Black I black have black something black. you don't have, Phil. It's okay, called empathy. Think. Yes, Charlie. Um, I had one of my coworkers at the Texas Comptroller's office, and he was in his fifties, and I was in my fifties. And he had told me he had never been stopped by a cop in his life driving. Never, never been stopped. And and there was a period of my life where I got stopped at least once a year, sometimes two, three times a year, just for driving. And they'd make up something like, oh, you were changing lanes too often. Or one time it was I was six inches over that, that line at a stoplight. The light changed yellow. I hit my brakes and stopped. And I was six inches over that white line. He pulled me over. Now, I'll, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what you were. I tell you what you were guilty of. Charlie was DWB. Yeah. Driving Mr. while black. How have you ever heard of the quota? <laughs> the ticket quota. You know. Well, they didn't hey, give me tickets because I was always very, you know, concessionary. I, I, I would not. I was yes sir, no sir, and I always ended one of those stops with telling the officer, "Thank you for your service. Cause I know you have a very tough job," and that would be it. And I never get a. I, I only got one, so twice I even got a warning. I never got a ticket from those stops, but I was stopped at least once every year. Yes, uh, um, uh, uh, they liked you, huh? Uh, yes, uh, 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 Anthony. Oh, thanks. I'll take my moment. You know what I was going to say? The reason why I think it is racist, though, and Charlie and Alex can answer this too. Even Charlie, mm -hmm. it's always the white cop who's doing oh, it. You never see the colored cops sitting on the guy's the neck. Colored cops? Colored? <laughs> colored? <laughs> colored? Yeah, the 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 Orientals. Well, They're colored the green. <laughs> but you know what I'm talking But you know what I'm saying? You never see the black guy doing yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. And by the I way, mean, tell, 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 them, right away tell them what your favorite them. kind of food is. Chinks. For me? I love Chinese food. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love Chinese food. You're all racist. You never see the colored cop killing the guy. They know the, the white colored guy. cop. Please. I'm sorry. I just uh, think uh, that singling out whether black or not black or colored or not colored or oriental or, or, or oriental or Asian, or Asian uh, is, is, is racist in itself. Uh, sing, singling that out. We're all people. And uh, you Phil, know. Phil, Phil, no, we're not all hormones. people. Some of, some of us are white and some of us are black. And the people who are white have far more privilege in this country than someone who is black. Am I right, Charlie? Yeah. Not if they get an education. Oh, fuck you. Oh, it doesn't matter. Fuck you. Jeff. Look at that. Harvard Jeff. professor. What's his name? Good Gates. Him, I mean, he had a PhD. <laughs> Did he? Jeff. I, I got to put my 10 cents on this because... Today, I spent on the phone listening to my black friends at Yale University who did their own little speaker thing. Mm -hmm. And there was like 30 people mm -hmm. who all worked there. And they started talking about what it's like to be black and what's their life and how easy and how tough. And one of the people who was spoken is a good friend of mine. And he called me the day before and he says, I got to speak tomorrow. Could you give me a couple of hints and this and that? And Pam and I had a, a little discussion with him about it. And, but what, what I really want to do is I want to send a copy of it for Phil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, send it to me. You know. I'll watch. You will not believe what the life is like. You know, I mean, it, 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 it's, um, I have, um, I ha I have an idea of what it's like because, uh, I told you the story where I got, you know, I understand what went on in Minneapolis a couple of weeks ago. That's Minneapolis. Minneapolis, one of the most racist cities I ever lived in in my life. And I thought it was going to be really liberal because it's known as a very liberal, politically liberal state. And yet we went, 
I, they, this black patrol took me out to Plymouth Avenue uh, at night and uh, showed me people, white guys, driving down the street shooting guns out of their cars at black people. You know, and I went, my God. You know, I, did, I lived in Houston, Texas, and I didn't see this. Although the reason I got out of Houston, Texas, is I was planning on leaving. It was lucky I left because I was about ready to, uh, to tell people um, uh, uh, that I had discovered that at the Houston Police Department on Tuesday nights, they were having meetings of the Ku Klux Klan. Mm. Oh, shit. What year? And, and, uh, and, and they knew that I was going to do that, and they were going to plant marijuana on me and bust me for drugs. And year? somehow at the same time, I was leaving town to go to work in Minneapolis and got out of town a day or two before they we were going to plant these drugs on me. You said Minneapolis was very, um, uh, uh, what did you call it, uh, uh, racist. Racist. And, and you said that they were, uh, and, and it was in Minneapolis where they were shooting, uh, white people shooting. Black yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, what year was that? You know, because I think of that movie, The Bronx Tale, uh, you know, where they had a similar situation. Uh, I, 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 knew one, I know one of the actors that was in that, Joseph D'Onofrio. He was one of the kids that got burned up in the car when they threw the Molotov cocktails at the black guys. Yeah, so you know a movie actor, okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, anyway, uh, you know that took place. Uh, it was staged in the fifties. No, this uh, was sixty. So this was sixty-seven. Early sixty-seven. And, and for you, it was sixty what? Sixty-seven. Okay, so it was a very hot time uh, racially. Uh, you know, sixty-five. It wasn't was a hot time racially in Minneapolis. I'm no, just, you don't think the, uh, huh? Because then no. in '68, no, it was you very, it was very quiet. But they, you know, I saw what was going on. I saw the reality of it. And then, besides p people driving down the street shooting guns out their window, white guys, I saw white guys driving down the street and just if they saw a black woman on a street corner, would ask her, "How much do you want to blow me?" You know, thinking that any woman who was walking on the streets of Plymouth Avenue. Was uh, was a, was a prostitute? Uh, you know, I, I I didn't do this because of race or anything. But when we worked the uh, the hooker patrol, uh, we used to see who could get it the cheapest. You know, uh, <laughs> so you know they'd say, "I want five dollars for uh, you know BJ." And, no, 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 fifty cents. Uh, you know, one guy got it for a, uh, a McDonald's burger. And, you know, or, or you know, and this we was there. your police department. Yeah. Yeah, well, you got a happy meal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, ab that's absolutely that's, 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 that's absolutely <laughs> disgusting, Phil. It yeah. is. I don't know well, why you, you find I don't know why you even begin to find that humorous that somebody is using their power. No, no, to no, be no they're abusive. undercover. It was all undercover. Oh, it was all undercover. But you took the, they took the blowjob, didn't they? No, no, no. we took from the jail. Was right. it a Big Mac or? <laughs> I don't know. It was McDonald's burger. I got to blow this. My mother's in the I'm, I'm sorry about his actions tonight, Charlie. Yeah. Well, it had nothing to do with black or white. It could have been uh, crack or it could have been white, too. You know? Mm hmm Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, they five dollars they wanted. Mm -hmm. How about 50 cents? You know, if they agreed to it, then, you know, we hooked them I up. I don't know how we got off of the subject of the, uh, the army bases or the military okay. bases. But uh, Trump says he's not going to change the name of them. Did you see they pulled a statue down and it fell on uh, of Robert E. <laughs> Lee and it fell on one of the uh, Antifa? These weren't did Antifa. Did you, did you hear the, her, the reason, oh, though? Back to Antifa. <clears throat> oh, I did. Uh, he was standing under it? No, no. The reason why they didn't want to change the name. So the oh. Kylie, whatever her name is, yeah. he say when she flipped her page to see what she's supposed to be reading from, she says she didn't. They, the Trump doesn't want the memory, the last memory before they go off into the wherever they're going to be stationed, their last memory of Fort, whatever. That's the memory that they want to keep forever in their thoughts. No, he said it was the, the, the faces are the people that are there, and uh, you don't need to change the name. You, you, you can change if if indeed those names. You know, a lot of black people in the military, Phil, and, and, and those people are on bases with names which are named after Civil War 
um, Raiders. Icon, icons. Was, but the Civil War wasn't uh, fought specifically over slavery. Uh, you know, uh, by abolishing slavery, it gave uh, a, uh, it, it was difficult for the South to continue with their economy. But uh, the. Oh, it the was an economic War. sanction against the South. And I've always said that, you know, Lincoln isn't as great a guy as you thought he was, you know, that he was doing it for. For, for economic purposes, as an economic okay. sanction, much like much like uh, uh, Trump, uh, you know, uh, puts an embargo or a, a, a tariff yeah. on on uh, uh, goods um, coming to the United right. States from China, but it's not so much that he wants the money as he wants to get even with China. Yeah. I don't, I don't no, he wants a fair deal. Well, he ain't going to get it. Okay. Well, so far, he's not. How's he doing on that? Uh, right now, uh, businesses are moving back to the U.S. Oh, really? really? They all want to coming back. The stocks are coming back. Oh, jobs, J O B S. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let's see what happens in the next week, Phil. Yeah, well, I think you know this. This was good. It gave people an opportunity to buy into the market again and make some money. No? Yeah. Did you, did you take a look to see how much your stock is worth now? No, today? I should have yeah. done. Yeah, you don't look oh, at it. It'll, depre it'll depress you, Phil. Yeah. It'll depress you. Yeah, let me Take the one, drop the zero. Oh, my God, I'm in the negatives. <laughs> There's one, one guy that uh, is quitting NASCAR because of the whole the flag? flag thing. The guy's raced 31 races, no wins. Nobody even knows who he is. Yeah. <laughs> and it's interesting. He's a NASCAR driver, so he truly is a racist. Yes. Yeah, they, they had it. Yeah, they had a good joke. They said uh, the the rebel flag is really the last, the second to last flag that they've raised. So they have the white flag, you know, as the last lap. The yeah. They're saying flag. because they surrendered, they have the white flag. That's really the racist one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, what do they do at the checker flag? It's black and white. This is this is uh, this That's is the, this is appeasement. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I'm down. To, I'm down twenty six dollars. Really good. Yeah, and how much were you up? Uh, Fifty something. Oh, okay. Well. On the old police patrol, that's a back rub and a foot rub and a happy ending. <laughs> <laughs> and a burger. And a burger. <laughs> don't, don't forget the burger. Yeah, yeah good friend. Uh, what do you, uh, Scott? You know, you live in Texas, as does Charlie. And Charlie, you've been staying indoors pretty much, right? You know, you, you have to stay indoors. Huh? What was the question? Uh, you've been staying indoors quite a bit, haven't you? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I only go out to go to the store. Yeah. That's a, uh, uh, Scott, how? What are you doing now? Because things are getting worse in Texas. You know. Yeah. yeah right. I I filled up my car three months ago. Yeah. And I still have three quarters of a tank of gas. Wow. You have a hybrid. So how much? Oh really? How much That's is the gas? Amazing. Well, it went it went from like uh, I saw it today. We were. No, I saw it yesterday, but it was like a dollar eighty nine. Three fifteen for regular. Three something, yeah. Is that yeah. Three it's, three it's gone up a bunch regular. too. Yeah, yeah. it got as low as a dollar nineteen. Well, I, yeah. I you know, uh, uh, before the COVID thing, three months ago, <clears throat> I, I always went by the bank and I uh, took out three hundred dollars every every month to just have his po pocket money, walking around money, right? And as of, uh, what was it, a couple of days ago when I checked it out, and this is three months later, I still have 150 of it. Yeah. If you had yeah. kids, you wouldn't. Good. You can send me that 150 I loaned you. Yeah, right. But the thing was, it, 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 well, it, it wasn't that I, um, um, you know, the, what I spent it on was tips. For like people who would deliver food and things yeah, like that, you know. Yeah. I find that in this COVID thing, because you have to get takeout, uh, that I tip very heavy because these people are, uh, you know, suffering. So uh, oh, yeah. I, my best, to, you know. Well, to, through to this whole that. thing, you know, we have uh, kept paying our maid, our cleaning woman, maid, cleaning woman. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, it's true because they lift work that they depend on. Well, you know, we'd be paying her anyway. All right, that's true. You know, if she were working, you have a clean house, huh? Is the house clean? 
We, we've done some cleaning, yeah. We did it about a week ago. I, we did a whole vacuuming of the whole place and dusting and and all of that and uh, kind of... Oh, this is, this, this is racist because you're paying your maid to stay away because you don't want to get the flu. No, we're paying her because we know that she'd be, she's probably pretty hard hit by this thing because oh, yeah. she said mm. that everybody has told her, don't come over, all yeah. right? And I think it's next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend that she's coming back for the first time. And she just, you know, uh, we just felt that we'd be paying her anyway, and uh, she's like an employee at a company, you know? Mm. You're going to uh, make her get the test? Hmm? You're going to make no. her get a test? No, we'll just keep and our, guys, we'll keep our they're social. They're okay with you. Huh? They're okay with you there. Like our, our cleaning service, mm -hmm. They we did the same thing. We, we canceled the first month of the whole COVID. Mm -hmm. And then the same thing, we felt, wow, you know, they're really depending on certain people who have the money to be able to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. And they have to survive. Uh, they sure. had a very strict code. They say nobody can be in the house while you're there. And they have a list of stuff that they're doing also. And what do you do with the jewelry? You hide it. You hide it? <laughs> you think I'm an underwear drawer. No, but I, no. I, 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 uh, <laughs> they look. you know, so I mean, it, it, it's just a matter that, uh, you know, uh, I, we felt we, we like her and we felt bad for her and we didn't feel she should suffer at least on our behalf because we know that probably everybody else isn't paying her. Yep. Right? You're surprised. But when she comes back, boy, is she going to have to do a cleaning. <laughs> you know, super clean. It's so sorry to you, huh? I got three months of dirty. Got charge you for a super clean. <laughs> yeah, super clean. Right. You know, but uh, uh, w what happened was uh, the um, what is it the uh, uh, the percentage of people testing positive in New York City is that it, it went up from one point two to one point three percent. Wow, that's nothing. That's nothing. So far, we're, you know, we're still saying we want to wait 14 days since the demonstrations. Uh, but they think that the demonstrations are going to uh, not make it increase that incredibly because we had brought it down enough, okay, that maybe the vast majority of the people marching did not have COVID and that they were all wearing masks, most of them. Uh, and so, therefore, probably there's a good chance that that it, we're not going to see a huge spike. They, they imagine there will be a spike, but not a not a huge one. What did happen in Washington is the National Guardsmen that were called out. Something like 23 percent of them tested positive for COVID. And that's who we have to send it to all the states. Huh? What? You remember he kept saying, law and order, man, I'm going to send the National Guard. Well, the National Guard that was brought to, to Washington to quell the problem, it's not so much to quell the problem, but to allow the government to do a photo op, um, uh, it, it uh, uh, you know, they, they were, uh, uh, they came down by 23% of them with COVID. So... Tested Caught positive. it from the protesters. No, they weren't near the protesters. They were near each other. Hmm. They, were the, the, they were the ones. The military, huh? Who was the military guy today that came out? He was doing a commencement speech or something, and he said that he should have never been in that photo op and stuff like that. Yeah, he was oh, the yeah. guy in camo who was walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He the, said, yeah, he said that's not how and, we should do And he it, said so. that he apologized for it because he felt that as a military man and representing the military, he didn't want to give the impression that the military was trying to silence protests. That isn't the right. job but of the military. Be, um, uh, they shouldn't be political one way or another. Yeah, but he felt that they shouldn't be involved in, in quelling a protest. That's a job for the police. That's a job for other, other people, but it isn't a job for the Army. Now, what if uh, Trump uses that uh, 1807 uh, law where he can send in the military if things get out of hand, like in Seattle, uh, where you haven't seen it, but uh, 
they they believe that things are getting out of hand there uh, because there are people that live in those six block area. I, most, I'm sure uh, mayor Trump, won't do anything. I'm sure Trump will will use every thing that he can find from the 1800s to and Barr, to defend uh, this country. Uh, Barr said it was legal. You know, Barr, Barr know. wouldn't know what was legal and not legal. He's done so many illegal things himself. Right. Um, Charlene, you've been very quiet. We haven't heard a word from you all night. You usually won't shut up. Well, that's why I'm trying to be a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> you taking hormones too? Oh, God. No, no, not any, not any hormones. No. Uh, she just wants. How do you to make a hormone? Lead. Don't pay her. That's a Phil joke, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's Alex's. Yeah. I don't want to steal his lines. Yeah, I steal everybody else's. <laughs> yeah, how, how's everything in New Jersey? Uh, they, it, it, they seem to the numbers have gone down in New Jersey, have they? Yeah, yeah, and um, I don't know. Nothing exciting's going on. You know, they're all listening to the governor because you know it's like a police state here. If you don't, you'll get in big trouble. I mean, you know, if you don't listen to what you know the cops and everything. Yeah. So um, you have to wear your mask, or they'll call the police. You know. I mean, I have no problem. I wear the mask, but I've actually out here, though, in central Jersey, mm -hmm. I've seen a couple of Black Lives Matter little, you know, signs that you get at Staples, a couple of those. And I almost died because I, I think they're all Trumpers out here. I really do. I've seen some big Trump banners and things, you know, There's a lot of Trumpers out here. Well, Trump, so I was shocked to see Black Lives Matter. Did anybody see this uh, this video of the cop? He's a, yeah. he's a cop in, so, where was it? Was it New Jersey? That that was it was the, Jersey, Alex, yeah. It was Jersey, yeah. And he, they were demonstrators marching down the street, so he had, he and his friend stood by the side of the mm -hmm. road, and he sat, it was there posing like the uh, the killing of uh, George, uh, uh, what's Yeah, what it was, Alex, is that it was two guys, mm -hmm. and there was a demonstration, and when it went by... These two guys got one got down on the ground and the other guy put his knee on his neck like yeah. and they said all lives matter. And, and they were not fired from their jobs. One okay. guy worked yeah. for FedEx. Well, FedEx. Yeah. And was yeah, the other was the, the quickest the quickest way to get fired is to do something like that, especially if you're a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't a police officer, he was with FedEx, but I was was the other guy a police officer, I believe, something like that. Yeah, he could no? have been, right. Yeah, that that is the, the quickest way. But you do it right on television and then you definitely get fired because they and can see it. Facebook is gonna get more cops fired than any any uh, and Twitter than any other uh, uh, type of service. But you see this is another thing, Phil. Well, aren't they bright enough to be like, Why am I doing this in social media? Yes, not. It's like it's yes, they aren't bright enough. So that, that's where they need to be. They can't patrol their own. Because no, they can't like patrol their, their own, own, but there are some. I mean, there's 800,000 police officers in this country. 800,000. There's going to be some bad apples. You know? You think it's, a, you think it's an orchard? Um, but, but like that one guy with the 18 complaints, I mean, they, they have to have... You know, some kind I of think that's, uh, that, you know, what they're talking about is having a way of logging uh, when an officer gets uh, uh, gets complaints at a department and then he moves to another department. Right. We're talking about having a, um, what they call it, uh, where, uh, uh, like a registry. Yeah. Where, right. uh, where yep. you can keep track of these guys and they don't get hired again. Exactly. You know? You know what I think has to happen, though, Phil, and I was going to ask this, Alex, too. What has to happen is for the people to see that, say, God forbid, the situation happened again. You need to see a cop take that guy off him, his own guy. The guy no. who's kneeling on him, another cop should have went over and pulled him off. You know, they the need problem to turn against was... Him. That's the, the only problem, way it's going to stop. But the problem was those two guys only had less than a week on the job. Yeah. No, they, you gotta know, you know what's right or wrong, though. You got it. You got it doesn't it. matter right or wrong. They don't know. They're they're like deer in the headlights. Well, I you think know? somebody's gonna. I think it's only gonna happen internally if they do it right in the public. If those two cops would have knocked him over, they would have been heroes today. I think that what good things are gonna come of this uh, of this George uh, Floyd thing is that the registry and that cops will stand <clears> up <throat> and do the right thing. Uh, and I think there'll be better training, you know. That but don't you think they would have been heroes still if they would have stopped the murder? 
Yeah, they would knock him over. This guy was gone before the eight minutes. I, I think this, with between the fentanyl and the other stuff, the guy had a heart attack. Uh, I, I think he was done. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I never heard a person have a heart attack and say, I can't breathe, I can't breathe while yeah. they're having a heart attack. Yeah, but he was silent for several minutes. And why do you now, make a big deal about the, the about fentanyl? I didn't know he, was, he had fentanyl. Yes, he what had fentanyl. Uh, they did an autopsy. They did two autopsies. And uh, he had fentanyl in his system. And uh, so, uh, you know. But the fentanyl are, didn't kill him. No, the but suffocation the did. Yeah, they're yeah, contributing factors. You know, maybe if he wasn't high on fentanyl, he, he wouldn't have suffocated. You know, I don't, you know something? I think that's a disparaging thing against him to say that he had fentanyl yeah. in his system. Look I don't know where you read matter. that, Phil, I got, but I, did, I got it. Did anybody well, else here read that anywhere? It, it was the no. autopsy. Just no, the autopsy. no, I saw the problem. autopsy, Phil, and didn't say it's anything about fentanyl. Autopsy. Where are you getting your information, Phil? T Charlie, did you see anything? Yeah. Hold on a second. Where did you see anything about fentanyl? No, I didn't. But my point I wanted to make is it doesn't matter what was going on in his system. If a guy has a weak heart and you decide to play yeah. a prank on him and jump out and scare the hell out of him and he has a heart attack and dies, you're still responsible. You're still The reason I alcohol. said that is that the guy was probably dead for at least two minutes before he took before they he got up from the guy. I think the guy was probably dead after six minutes and he was just sitting there. Uh, With his hand in his pocket, by the way. I couldn't figure that one out at all. Why was he doing that? Yeah. I, I think the guy's nuts. He's he's because he had no air. No, no, no. The cop had his hand in a pocket. You see the cop's face? That, that's, that's the cold stone killer. When you see yeah, that face. I, I think uh, yes, uh, Charlene has her hand up. Let, you, let Charlene talk. Yes, Charlene. Well, with the, as far as that goes, the EMTs had a like They even couldn't get him off when they arrived. He was still on the neck, and they told him, you know, get off, we're here. And he was still on his neck. They couldn't even get him off. Hmm. So that guy was really uh, bent on like pressing his knee into his neck, wasn't he? Wow. Yeah. And then, uh, as far as Phil's talking about that registry, it yes. reminds me of like you know um, what they used to do to the, the bad priests that were molesting. Yeah. They would just send them to another right. parish, right. molest yes. again over there. You know, so maybe uh, this registry would prevent that. Like. Phil kind of, you know, alluded to that. Yeah. Like if we get uh, like a registry of bad cops that have complaints against them, you know, then you'll know, watch out for this cop, I'll, right? I'll, I'll tell you, the there's one, only one problem with that and that, uh, you know, they, there's these laws, you know, when you go to hire somebody, if, uh, if one employer tells the other employer that this guy's no good, I wouldn't hire him, then, uh, you know, they sue you. And uh, so people are afraid to uh, you know, to record this kind of information and let it get out because then the guy can't get a job and then all of a sudden he's got an attorney, and uh, and and the department or the employer gets sued. You know, I, I, it's just as much as I think it's a good idea. It's in in our society right now, things like that can't take place, right, Charlie? I mean, you you work for a big entity. Uh, you know what happens? You know, somebody does something wrong, and you can't even say anything about it. Well, that's the point, though, Phil. I mean, if the cop is a bad guy that keeps uh, injuring people and stuff like that, yeah, you know, maybe he shouldn't be hired as a cop because he is doing stuff like that. You know. Yeah, but well, he's a danger. Some... He's a danger to the community and the well and the welfare of the community. And that's what I was saying last night. We don't have time to get into it again. But last night I was talking about the uh, situation with um, uh, uh, the police unions. And the fact that they really, you know, they, they should be able to negotiate, you know, money and they should be able to negotiate terms. But when it comes to this kind of thing, they should have to shut up because this is this is in the community interest and how and community safety. And they should not enter into that kind of discussion. But yeah, if that's the guy gets arrested and has a criminal record. It's really hard to. You know, to uh, listen, it's it's me. much it's much easier than you think. You simply have to change the culture of the police departments. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for tonight. We've run out of time, boy. I'll tell you, this um, this really works pretty well. You guys all like, uh, yeah, uh, I like uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. Zoom. Okay. Well, we'll continue to use it for a while, and then we can go back to Skype and remember how it was. You know. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot easier. Plus, when somebody's talking and then you start talking, you can hear the other person interrupt you and talk to you. It doesn't like cut them down in audio so that's why a lot of people would keep talking and not hear somebody else try to say something but you see them listen to them much better now anyway yeah. that's it for tonight I want to thank uh, Brian Neary and I want to thank uh, Charlie Wallace and Phil Meyer and Scott Boddicker hey, good seeing you Scott uh, of course uh, Tony uh, thank you so much uh, Jeff thank you and thank you Charlene uh, that's our that's our that's our panel for tonight. Give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back at you, okay? Because I like waving back. Okay, there they go. Okay, let me uh, let me uh, say goodbye to them. Uh, in fact, I will uh, put an end to them by ending the meet meeting for all. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll be back. Uh, the intersection is next with Jack Bishop. We'll be back again tomorrow night at uh, 10.30 Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice night and stay safe. <laughs>